I just want to give you a quick look at how to input a floor function into WebAssign. I think it's a little tricky how to input it. So let me do this example. f of x equals negative 3 floor of x. So I think the first part you've got to do is understand what that function looks like. It looks more or less like this. Let me just draw an xy axis. Well, if f of x, you plug in 0, right, you get out negative 3 times the floor of 0, right, and the floor of 0 is 0, so we have negative 3 times 0, and that gives us out 0. So I go 0, right? Now what happens if you plug in, say, 0.5? Well, you get the floor of 0.5. What is the floor of 0.5? Well, the floor of 0.5 is still 0. So I get three, negative 3 times 0, which gives me 0. So at 0.5, I'm still at 0. But as soon as I get to f of negative f of one, oops, f of one, you get negative three times that's an ugly three. One, right? The floor of three is one. So you get out negative three. Right? This number here actually affects the height of the step, so from 0 to 1, not including 1, I get a step, and then here, from 1 to 2, I get another step. What's the height of that step? It's at negative 3. Okay, so you can see the steps are going down. In fact, this step, the step that starts at negative 1, so if this is negative 1, 0, 1, this step would actually be clear up at 3. To see that, plug in f of negative 1. And so negative 3 times the floor of negative 1. Sorry, my floor functions are a little ugly. The floor of negative 1 is still negative 1, so negative 3 times negative 1 gives me 3. So input negative 1, height 3. Okay, so the trick is how do I input that into WebAssign? I'm going to go over to the line tool. I'm going to pick a segment. My first chunk goes from 0 to 1, but here's the catch. My left end point needs to be solid. My right end point needs to be an open circle new line segment from 1 to 2 at height negative 3 left end point clo closed right end point open new line segment left end point closed right end point open that ought to get me the right answer